Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the problem this evening is not snow, but rather freezing rain across interior sections away from the coastline. Quite simply, it's raining while temperatures are still below freezing. The net result is a glaze of ice in many areas. Take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Uh, the colors represent precipitation type, and quite simply, the pink area is freezing rain, and the green, essentially south of Warwick and certainly along the coastline, is plain rain. Temperatures here are coming in now above freezing, but we'll zoom in real close and you know we've had numerous uh, reports of some spin outs and some accidents and some of this freezing rain going to the Providence uh, metro area route to 95 295 we've had reports of some accidents on route 195 as well uh, into Kent County and the uh, northwest part of the state temperatures still below freezing with rain coming down so this will persist for several more hours before things start to improve overnight tonight from south to north so the coastline you know the temperatures are above freezing right now but these inland areas it'll take a while longer for those numbers to come above freezing and I tell you what you know it's very dangerous you know freezing rain compared to snow it's deceiving it the road looks wet when it's actually icy big temperature swings on the way despite the uh, cold temperatures now a big warm-up for tomorrow the winter weather advisory continues uh, this evening and overnight for interior sections and we're not out of the woods yet as far as stormy conditions the worst of some heavy rain and wind will be later tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening and could be seeing gusts of 45 to 60 miles per hour along with heavy rain and some thunder. Again, this would be late afternoon and into the early evening hours. Winter weather advisory continues this evening and overnight, especially away from the coastline. And the high wind watch for the areas in orange. Now, it'll be windy everywhere, but the strongest winds, the areas in orange. And this would actually read until Tuesday evening, not at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. At 1 o'clock, we'll still have some strong wind gusts. Meanwhile, in Providence, areas of fog and some freezing rain that temperature still below freezing at 27 right now on a northwest breeze at light speeds humidity very high 25 in Smithfield you see the huge temperature range mid 20s in the northern part of the state while in places like westerly it is 41 degrees so that milder air is just to watch south but it'll take a while to get to places like Smithfield and that's why several more hours of freezing rain and why we have the well the threat tracker in the yellow uh, level tonight uh, through Tuesday not because of uh, ice on on Tuesday, but rather rain and some strong wind late day and early evening. So part two of our storm system is actually all this rain and even some thunder out across the southeast. This will track into our area late tomorrow afternoon. So the first part of tomorrow is just showers and some drizzle, but the latter part of the day, it's very heavy rain and wind. Futurecast shows this well. Midnight, still some icing to our north and west, but look at the temperature heading above freezing overnight towards tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning, it's dense fog, light showers and drizzle. No downpours and thunderstorms yet, but watch what happens now. This unfortunately coincides with the evening commute tomorrow, 5 o'clock through about 8 o'clock in the evening. Heavy rain, downpours, thunderstorms, and the potential for some damaging wind gusts. Again, late day and into the early evening hours. Seven-day future cast, better weather on Wednesday, a little cooler. Not bad for Thursday. Could be a flurry, nothing more than that. Friday looking okay. Weekend is certainly milder than last weekend. Some rain and snow showers on Saturday, nothing serious. Temperatures mid and upper 40s. And real tough uh, next several hours inland areas. It's raining, but the ground is still below freezing. We saw in Rosie's story that the cars look like they were going only like 10, 15 miles an hour. You've, you've got to take it slow. It'll take until probably 3, 4 in the morning for those inland areas to go above freezing. All right. Thanks, Tony. We have